Hi. Hi. So I'm Ore. Um, I write for my own sort of like freelance writing platform. So it's called Ore Reviews. Um, nice to meet you. What? Me what? What? <laughs> How are you guys? Good. You should have picked something up this time. Okay. I'm yeah. good. Thank you. We're very good. Very good. Very good. How are you? I feel like this must be a long morning for you guys. Just a piece of cake, man. To be fair, it's going. Uh, quick. <laughs> It's gonna be all be over yeah, soon. I know. Yeah. yeah cool. Is, Thank you. It's so exciting. Good. I don't normally sound like this. I lost my voice yesterday. I went to the Wizkid concert at the O2. Uh, Stop uh, bragging, man. Stop sorry, bragging. Sorry, sorry. I was working. Promoting uh, our movie. I'm pissed. Yeah, I, we were gonna go, uh, but I just I needed to rest. We need to rest. Oh no, fair enough. Yeah, so my voice might just go in and out. Don't be alarmed. It's definitely because of yesterday. Um <laughs> So I've got a couple of questions for you guys. Obviously, it's so weird that you guys have done, like individually, you've done so many big things. But in terms of this film, in terms of Boxing Day, you've got, Emil, you've got your directorial debut. Leanne, you've got your acting debut. So it's weird. It's kind of like a first for both of you. So how yeah. did that feel? I was going to say, it, oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We came together, joined forces to change the world. Do you know what? You know, like in life, things happen and people meet. Like when my first audition, I felt like I'd known you for years. Yeah, you said. Yeah, and I just think like we were meant to sit here right now. Like we were meant to be promoting this film and mm -hmm. it's just all aligned so amazing. And so the fact true. that you say like this is your debut, my debut, and we've almost like made our dreams come true together. A hundred percent. Like it's, yeah, it's very, very special. Yeah, no, I can imagine. <laughs> emotional, emotional oh. moments. <laughs> no, that's so good, though. Um, Amel, in terms of... Can I just say, by the way, you're saying my name properly, which is like the first time oh, today. Sure. Thank you. Marva no Sherman. No problem. I've done my research. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so in terms of, I guess, obviously you directed it, but you acted in it as well. In terms of the roles that you've played before, I guess they've been quite serious I mean some of them have had that sort of like comedic element but like in terms of you know like sensei or kid adulthood and um, and you were like PC Lewis Hardy in the bill like all of them were quite like serious roles so how was it playing something that was like I guess comedic but still had that sort of nuance like your character in um Boxing Day still kind of has those I guess those like troubled elements to him so how was it balancing that this time uh, my therapist says it's really working out, me oscillating between, like, I'm joking, Jesus. Um, <laughs> basically, you just took it seriously. I no, took it seriously. She's like, oh, right, yeah. I don't have a therapist. Um, in, in short, this is the first time I've played something that's close to myself. I think that often I play characters, I would say I'm like a character actor leading man, is been my observation, is like, if I'm playing in Yardi, that's not who I am. If I'm... When yeah. I was playing adulthood, that's not how I grew up. Do you get what I'm saying? Is so I've always played characters, which is great as an actor. Um, but for the first time, I got to play someone obviously indicative of some of my experiences and and someone who's um just like a London, like a London boy going through, you know, the the, the ups and downs and trials and tribulations of being in love and having relationships. So it felt good, it felt refreshing, and it felt good to have fun. Do you know, that's one of the things I, I don't have, usually my roles are serious, as you said, and they're not as fun as this was. And, and it was an amazing, amazing time. We had like playing music and mm. vibing out. And the fact that no one could tell me to turn my music off <laughs> made me very happy. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess you said that once or twice, isn't it? <laughs> like today. Yeah. Shut <laughs> your music off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. And then Leanne, for you, I guess in the film, you've got quite, like the relationships that your character has in the film are quite different, right? So you've got scenes with Tamara Lawrence, who's like, she plays your best friend. Then you've obviously got scenes of Amel, you've got scenes of Ajinomi King where there's like this heightened tension. How was it sort of being all those different people and being all those different people in, in the relationships in the film? How was it acting in that? I guess it was just like a bit of a roller coaster of emotions, really. But I am a very emotional person. And I think one thing you said to me when you first met me was I can like get in touch with I'm in touch with all of my emotions mm -hmm. is what you said, um, which I believe is actually is, is true and definitely helped me to play that part. But um, I feel like Georgia was so similar to, to me 
but I didn't know if that was going to benefit me or or not yeah. but um because I remember one scene I had to get emotional and I put myself into like a, a traumatic place like that I've been before and like I came off set and I was like oh should I have done that like because I'm still finding my way as an actor and like sorry you know you're still finding your way as an actor I love that that's a major but you can say that you're an actor that's so yeah, dope it is, like, it's mad it is. Yeah. It but, is. Like no no it is it's mad but it, you, you continue to find your way as an actor no yeah way. definitely and like different techniques that are going to help me along the way but um yeah i think the fact that georgia was quite close to me as a person actually did kind of benefit me from my first acting debut i'd say what about but, the, the uh, techniques of like imagining circumstances and imagining the world and all the stuff you did with diana and yeah no i mean yeah she was incredible but um i think as well like placing myself in the character's frame of mind frame of mind as opposed to my frame of mind you yeah. know i think that's what i'm learning to kind of i've got to differentiate that yes yes yes. but yes. um look at our acting talk yeah here, yeah i love it i love it talking about techniques <laughs> yeah but um i'm just excited to to keep going and hopefully i was saying a film a year would be absolutely amazing putting it out there into the universe um yeah i love it i i i, I love it okay. i love it and in terms of i guess with all the stuff that you've done with music like when i think of when i think of little mix it's really random when i think of little mix and all the stuff that they've done with music one of the there's like a standout video when i think of how big they they are um and it's this video where you're on a chat show i can't remember what one and you sing wings in japanese because oh yeah, that yeah, just yeah. blew my mind. I was just, oh my god, that that's how global. Let's yeah, do it. Do it's mental. Oh, it's a little line. It's a little <laughs> line. I've ever Give us a line. Give us a line. <laughs> Wow. That is that is why you're a superstar. It's actually. Yeah, it's amazing. We know it in Korean as well, but I won't bore you. But um, wow. mental. in Japan, well, we've been to Japan quite a few times, um, and we we just learnt it. We for, for your fans. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Honestly, so sick. I feel like it just encompasses how how big how big you guys are, like musically. But well, I guess what my question for you is: what was the key difference in terms of? You know, like with music, I have like prep in terms of learning all the languages and, you know, doing all the vocal warm ups and all of that sort of stuff. What was the key difference, like preparing for your acting debut? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I mean, it's completely different worlds, like completely yeah. different. Um, I think as a singer, like obviously I've been doing it for 10 years. Um, it's mad because I can go on stage and I can perform and I won't get nervous. Like, cause I know I'm in front of my fans, I'm home. Do you know what I mean? That stage is my home. Like my first um, day of, of obviously the film and I was petrified. Cause it's like walking into a new world really, isn't it? But um, I feel like as well, like acting is hard. Mm -hmm. Like it is so, it's so hard. hard. On the body and the mind. It, oh my gosh, yeah. it is. Like, I feel like I had to go home each day and just literally like play the Sims or something, you know, to just, <laughs> like dumb my brain down. Or, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like just sort of switch off from it. But um, yeah, I just love the fact that I got to, to explore that talent as well. And yeah. What I'm interested in actually as a question, so. Into, no, go for it. Uh, <laughs> what I'm interested in is, is when mm -hmm. we did the jazz cafe scene, what the difference was because you remember you had an idea Ooh. of how you wanted to sing it yeah, yeah and then yeah. i was like actually sing it in a way where you're actually more speaking it to him you know what i mean so it's not about the vocals as much which the vocals yeah. are sick but it's more about the storytelling and yeah. when when that happened and your sister was there actually as well it completely changed the whole bloody thing it just yeah. completely changed when you weren't focusing on the vocals yeah, as specific as yeah, you were yeah, like yeah, storytelling yeah because yeah. to me this is like the most iconic yeah i love that moment thank you i feel like when i sing a little mix song obviously like we've sung it time and time again um i'm just having i'm having fun you mm -hmm. know like i'm whatever but i knew that i had to enchant you like mm -hmm. i knew i had a job to do so yeah you're right i think when i stopped thinking about getting the vocal right obviously it was a new song so i was still kind of finding my way with it um yeah i think I don't know just it just kind of happened i guess but i think the setting as well like everything kind of helped that moment 
You oh, know? shout out to Buki with the oh, dress that you wore. I know. She, it's like she was in a Bond movie, yeah. right? And she, yeah. Oh, oh some kind of Buki. Mm. Phenomenal. Like, in that, so like, good. I love her. Setting that, setting mm. that moment was a really important moment. Yeah. I'm just always interested in going back there and now you've got distance on it. Yeah. How you feel about it. Well, it was just such an intimate moment anyway. Like, even like the, the venue, just everything. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And how did it feel stepping out and singing? Because a lot of people have commented to me. Sorry, man, I'm taking everything. No, to you. honestly, a lot of people commented I'm to me how so much, true. how much they were like, oh my gosh, like yo, Leanne can sing. Uh, like, like yeah. it's amazing hearing her by oh, herself yeah. and like hearing her soul and her spirit. Like so many people have come up to me about yeah. that. Like, do you know what it is as well? I think when you're in a group, you obviously you get like a verse, or you get a chorus, yeah. and I think. Um, People might not necessarily know that I can sing, sing as yeah, like that. Yeah, people from but, the culture have been going mad. Like, yeah, but I think as well, like, like my fans will know. Like my fans have oh, definitely on tour. Yeah. But yeah, I think obviously being in a group for ten years, like, I've never had a moment like that for anyone to actually just see and me you go sing it, Aretha Franklin. I mean, do you know the pressure on prayer. that? The pressure on <laughs> that. Aretha Franklin, you know, big big pressure, big song. Mother so named my sister. Who's in the oh. film of the Boozy after Ruth Franklin? Yeah. And you sing the song and you I smashed it. I remember when I told my mum I was singing it, she was like, Leanne, are you sure you want to do that? Hey! Like, she said that. That's a, yeah, like, that's a big song. That's a big like, song. Like, but then obviously she watched it and she said she cried four times. Bless her. So. Oh. Um, She's coming to the premiere tomorrow. No. She's not. We'll talk about it after. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I'm really oh. so completely out of time. It's so sorry. Really you've, gotten the best, you've gotten the best interview. <laughs> Thank this you. Is the best one so far. Swear down. Oh, that's so good to hear. No, it was lovely meeting you guys. Um, let me wrap up before they kick me out. But it was lovely meeting you guys, and I hope the premiere and stuff goes well. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.